Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to the second part of my How to Trellis a Hoya video. Um, th with this installment, I'm going to be talking about wire. Wire is pretty much the only way you can trellis these tiny Hoyas that start to get out of control and grow like this. If you don't um, trellis them, they'll tangle themselves around other plants and it can be quite difficult. So you can go to the hardware store. Any hardware store is going to have this regular galvanized um, wire. comes in a 50 foot roll. And this works ideal for these very small Hoyas. It's cheap and it's pretty effective. I'll show you how I um, work with wire on a Hoya like this. First thing you need to do <laughs> is sort of get a ballpark of what you want to do with the wire. So approximately that long ought to work one, good for one loop. So then you're going to bring it around like so so that you can get two pieces of pretty much the same length. So then we'll go down here, cut this like that. Now if you cut this here, you'll have two pieces that will be about the same length. Any old wire cutters will work. Straighten out this end a little bit. Try to get this approximately straight. And then since you want to have some sort of a loop on the top, you want to sort of bring these wires back a little bit to straighten them out so that they'll go into the pot pretty much at a 90 degree angle. So we're going to stick our first loop carefully in this plant, like so. Then we're going to get our next piece of wire and do exactly the same thing. And we're going to carefully insert this. Another good thing about this thin wire is it's very unlikely to damage the delicate root system that might have uh, grown into this pot. So, do a crisscross like this. Then you take your trusty zip tie, which I use for just about everything, and you simply tie those together like so, and you put another one on going from the other direction. So, once they're tied together like that, you have a fairly strong structure for such a little Hoya. And then you simply snip off the ends. And there you have a loop wire trellis. And then you take your bumblebee clip and you very gingerly, this is Hoya um, Buati, or that's as close as I can come to pronouncing it, never having heard it pronounced before. And take your bumblebee clip, and once again I prefer the bumblebee clips over the dragonfly because they don't cut the vine off the way the dragonfly clips seem to do. You have a lot of room in here. And it's still free so you can tell that it moves back and forth.
try to keep your your plant growing tip so that it is still able to grow upwards if at all possible and that one wants to slip out but we'll just tuck it in there for now hopefully it'll find its own way back up okay there you go and this will be good until this plant finally has to be transplanted into something bigger so thank you for working with me and watching me trellis this Hoya with wire loops. There's a lot of other things that can be done with wire as well. <clears throat> I, every time I find a different wire trellis, this one was purchased at the dollar store and I wish I had bought about 50 of them because they're no longer available right now. I'm hoping to find them again because these things can be cut into a variety of shapes and sizes. So when I come back I'll show you what can be done with these um, other uh, wire trellises. He makes more noise when he takes a stand than you hear from a real hillbilly band. He's the best auctioneer in all the